Welcome YouTubers to another video unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing PCS Ghostface. Had this for about 20 minutes now, but I was in a work meeting, so it's been sitting here for a little bit. It's a really heavy box. I'm assuming that's mostly going to be the base. I, I bet Ghostface doesn't weigh a lot. But here's the out brown shipper, and it had, of course, all these things, straps. So we're going to set it up right where it goes. Uh, should fit perfectly right there. Uh, real curious how this is going to scale with everything. And there's little Gizzy. Gizzy, say hi to YouTube. He's the cutest dog in the world, I swear. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, I have not seen any in-hand photos of this at all. So I am not 100% sure what this is going to look like. Okay. So as you can see, the mask is going to magnetize to him. And there's a bunch of parts here. Okay. Let's see. I don't know how heavy that is. Can I one hand this bad boy? Uh, nope. All right. Calm down. Calm down, everyone. Today's just the video review, by the way. Or the unboxing. Tomorrow's going to be the review. All right. So there's just like the, interesting, just like the doorway. Similar to like the, yeah, check that out. So I'm not 100% sure. I believe it goes like this, like he's breaking into the house. And it's really just as big as the Leatherface one. And that's it for this layer. Uh, I believe there's one, yeah, one final layer. So this is a three layer box. Yeah, and this one has the hard face. Uh, I wish Leatherface had more of a base similar to Ghostface. A more proper, like, you know, under base sort of. Yeah, so this is going to be the main base. So I got number 134 of 250. This is low stock, the exclusive on Sideshow. So if you guys are looking to purchase this, please use the links below as it does help the channel. It actually kind of looks like he's stepping outside. Uh, like this would be the inside of the house, and this would be the outside where Ghostface is breaking outside of the house, chasing after you, going outside, which did happen in the movie. So it's definitely, you know, screen accurate. So let's go ahead and put this base on, which actually, I'm quite confident this is the inside. You know, this would be the inside where it has like coat hangers. So this should be the outside. So, like that. Interesting. All right, next we'll do, there's no instructions or anything. So, I'm just gonna do ghost spaces legs. So, looks like the legs is sculpted jeans. Along with sculpted boots. It looks really good. Lots of nice detail. So this looks good. And yeah, he is stepping through the window. Well, it's a door, really. A glass door. Like so. There's a white cloth right here which I believe goes on the door. There's actually two of them as well. So two of these white cloths and they do have uh, things you can like kind of pose them. Yeah, I believe this is like the door drapes. Uh, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure how that honestly goes. 
We'll need to figure that out, possibly look at pictures. There's no instructions on this. I kind of feel like they should have put in instructions. All right, what else do we got? Yeah, so this is like some broken door and glass and it does have a little peg here. So, no, one could assume it could go like that, but that doesn't fit super good. And there is a bunch of these actually. I think, yeah, like that, it says number three. Um, I, I need like a flashlight, honestly. <laughs> Gizmo, wait, sit. Gizmo's trying to eat styrofoam. Goodness, little puppies. All right, what is this? Okay, this is a hand. They got a nice sparkle on that black, by the way. I'm real curious on this mask. So the ex this is the bloody exclusive, so it has a bloody mask. See how the bloody mask looks. Get a smile. So here's the bloody mask. Looks pretty good for sure. And then it comes with a standard mask. Uh, so this is what you'd get if you bought the regular version. Just that right there. So I'll probably switch it out every now and then. Because, you know, the majority of the movie, it's not a bloody mask. I believe it only gets bloody during, like, a kill. Let's check out the knife as well. I'm curious if this is metal or not. I would love if it's metal. Yeah, so this is the bloody knife. Okay. Ooh, yeah. That's cold to the touch. I believe that's metal, folks. And it is mixed media on the hand as well, so it's not like sculpted hand. So pretty much everything's going to be mixed media. You know, and then of course it'll come with a standard knife, which I'll probably stick with the bloody. I think that just looks way cooler. Let's see. So another... You know, glass piece. There's a lot of pieces to this. Here looks like a big door piece. I, I definitely feel like I need to whip out the laptop and look at some photos. I haven't seen the voice changer. I think it's right there. So I know that's also like, I believe, part of the exclusive. Yeah, more broken glass. Yeah, so this is definitely a piece that takes quite a bit. There's also this stick. What is this? Oh, no, this is like, you're going to hang this for the drapes, I think. Oh, snap. That's cool. Honestly, I have no idea about that. All right, this is going to be the voice changer. So when they talk in the deep voice, uh, look at that. Tele voicer, telephone voice changer. So... You could display this really anywhere you want. You know, I'm going to display it on the front of the base. PCS always displayed it on the back part, but I'm like, you can't even see it. So I prefer that in the front. And then there's additional just, uh, let's see, what is this? Ah, this is going to be, it's a little golden part. Gizmo. All right, another piece of the door. And this all looks really good, like the broken wood effect looks excellent. I still haven't seen the full costume in its glory, it's still covered. I wanna get the base completely done before I add ghost face to it. I feel like that's gonna be easier. Yeah, another one of these little golden things. All right, one last piece. 
And then the only piece remaining is going to be Ghostface at this point. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. All right, folks, give me just one second. I am going to get my laptop and start looking at some photos. All right, folks, so I've done a few pieces. This is going to be difficult to do the whole unboxing, but you have two doorknobs uh, that go on each side. So one there, one there. That little piece was actually the lock that goes right there. And then the only other thing, you know, looking on like pictures, you know, you look at like right here, the back is really just the drapes. And then you pose that how you want. Now, Ghostface is covering, so you can't really see exactly where each piece goes. However, it does look like it's all labeled. You know, like this says number five. However, I can't read inside this, so I'm going to need to use like a flashlight. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not going to have you guys watch me do this for 30 minutes. So, I'm just going to stop and just get it completed. And then we'll assemble Ghostface next. Alrighty, so the way these pieces go, you got this biggest one is at the bottom. Uh, so it's a fat one there. You got this little green one here, one that goes up to here. The second biggest one is the above one, and then this one right here. Uh, and that's basically how they go. Uh, so after that, the only thing next is to do the drapes and they're posable. And they have it like going through the actual piece. And as you saw, the like hooks in the back. And then after that, it's just ghost spice. Alrighty. So here is the drapes. Uh, again, they have wires on all edges. And then this is simply just going to go right at that very back. And there we go. So you can really pose this how you want. You know, if you don't want it coming through the front door or whatever. I kind of feel like with the motion, he's stepping out through these. So I kind of feel like you do want to have these going through the door. But yeah, now let's go ahead and do ghost face. So give me a sec. Let's actually get ghost face in. Surprisingly, he is very heavy. And it looks like... He is posed as well. All right. So I am curious. Did they sculpt a body underneath? Uh, uh, there's like a black shirt. So yeah. Exactly finding the hole. Let's see. And I should get this Jupiter. All right, there we go. So now you do that, you can basically. You know, and these all have wires, so you can pose it how you want, you know, more or less, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, you can pose that. Uh, there's like two strings right here, and then you basically just attach this, and then you cover it like so. Like that, and then you'll have this hand. And again, it does have that really nice sparkle look to it. It's very prominent in person. And then the knife hand. Yeah, from what I can tell, like they did sculpt everything underneath. It's not just like a blank dummy costume with a you know, something over. Everything is fully sculpted. Now, I do want to look at... Okay. 
yeah, the way they have this posed, kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like flat to the head and then goes out. And yeah, the strings, <clears throat> That is more or less it. Now it is angled, so I'm gonna have to angle it as well because I need it to look, you know, like straight. So it's gonna have to go more like that for my display. Yeah, there is the bloody exclusive. Uh, I'll show you guys the other parts. But yeah, check out Ghostface. Finally have it in hands. Super freaking sick. Jupiter. I love it. Way cool. Uh, I'm going to have to fiddle with the, you know, the mixed media more uh, to get a little bit more to my liking. But otherwise, I love it, folks. So big, big fan. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's review. I'm going to fix some of this up and... Why not? But I'll see you on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.